Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh In this video, I'm going to give you a simple introduction to the idea of set and it is basically a fundamental concept in mathematics and it is defined as a collection of well distinct objects so here it means that all the objects here can be clearly um, differentiated between one another okay um, if you look at these uh, examples of sets given here they can be anything it can be uh, a collection of people or animals alphabets numbers and etc so for example here we have set a so set a is the collection of um, family cats cats family here we have tiger lion puma cheetah and so on and in set b we have a collection of small alphabets small letters from a to z in c uh, set c we have um, examples of numbers negative one negative two negative three and we have dot 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 over here that indicates a similar pattern that is going to be observed so it's going to be um negative four negative five and the pattern goes on and then d here is the set of um, a number which is defined as x and x here is defined as a prime number so what is prime number prime number is defined as a number uh, that is greater than 1 so any number that is greater than 1 and can only be obtained okay can only be obtained by um, multiplying itself with 1 multiplying itself with 1 so for example we have um, prime numbers are 2 3 4 sorry 5 7 <clears throat> um, 11 so you can see that in order to get 7 we can only get 7 by multiplying 7 by multiplying itself with 1 so similarly with 11 you can only get this number if you multiply itself which is 11 times with 1 so that's the idea of a, a prime number now for example 9 here is not a prime number so 9 is not a prime number because in order to get uh, this value you can have other possible choices for example you can get this value by multiplying 3 with 3 so um, therefore 9 is not a prime number okay now um, let me just uh, explain to you once again about the idea of well distinct objects it means the objects can be clearly differentiated uh, for example if you have uh, uh, another set let's say set z is equal to um, 1 and 2 and 3 and 1 so this is not a set that is not a set because we have similar objects here and um, they are not clearly they can't be clearly differentiated they are not distinct enough okay so um when you have a set a set is a collection of well distinct objects the objects cannot be similar objects it has to be very different okay now what is element element is any member of a given set so for example in this set a here uh, we can say that tiger is an element of set A. So it is a member of that particular set. And it can also be mathematically written as uh, this one. So we are using this notation here. So this represents an element. So we can say that tiger, tiger here is an element of set A. Okay. So the notation, uh, so this notation here, when you have uh, this one and you cross it, it means that that item is not an element of a given set. For example, I can say that bird is not an element of set A. Okay. Now, um, let's try and do this uh, very simple example here. So we have set A, which consists of 1, 2, 3, and 4. B is 1, 2. So this is another element. So this element is written as um, curly bracket 3 and 4. 
and C is red, green and blue. So decide if the following statements are true or false. So the first one here is um, 4 is an element of set A. So we can see that here we've got 4 inside this set and so the answer to this is true. Next, uh, 3 is an element of set B. So we go on to set B and we can see that there is no uh, 3 inside uh, that particular set. What we have here is we have 1, okay, we have 2, and then we have the third element which is this one, 3, 4. So it is uh, in this manner. So this is not 3, this is curly bracket 3 and 4. So therefore, this one is false. Okay, so there is no um, this item. So this item here doesn't exist in set B. Now, um, is this one uh, not an element of B? Well, you can see from uh, set B, we can see that the element of set B consists of 1 and 2 and this particular item. So this particular item is an element of set B. Therefore, this statement is false. Yellow is not an element of C. So yellow is not an element of C. So here we go to set C and we can see we've got red, green and blue. So yellow is not an element of set C. So this is true. Yeah. Okay. Now let's look at this idea of writing a set. So there are um, ways of writing a set. So first one, we can, we can list a set. So you can list um, uh, everything. For example, you can list A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So this is how we write down the set by listing all the elements. Um, and sometimes um, you can uh, write it in terms of set builder notation. So set builder notation is in terms of statement as given by these three examples here. So set builder notation is written in terms of statement. So this is by listing, you list everything and this is also known as roster method. Okay, so uh, now we're going to convert A, set A which is written in terms of set builder notation. We want to convert it by using the roster method which is simply just listing all the possible elements yeah so uh, for set a for example um, it says here x is the item that you wear so it can be anything really it can be jeans it can be blouse it can be watch it can be earrings it can be anything so you can just leave it at that now B here is a set where it, it is defined as the alphabet found in the word catastrophe. So I'm going to list down the alphabets that are found in that particular word. So it's going to be, um, we're going to, to start from left to right. So here we're going to have C, so I'm going to list C, A, T, and then here we have A again, but we should not put it into the consideration because when you create a set, it has to be well distinct objects. It has to be very different from each other. So we don't need to consider A again. So we move on to S. So we already have got T over here. So now we move to R. And then O, P, H and E. So this is uh, the set written in terms of roster method or by listing uh, all the elements uh, accordingly, okay? So next is um, x uh, is the sum of two dice that are thrown. So um, x is the sum of it, and you can imagine if you throw two dice uh, at one time, um, you can get many possible combinations. For example, the first one here, uh, you might get uh, one dot. Or the second one here, you might get um, two dots. So you need to sum them up. And I think the minimum sum is going to be one and one. So if you throw two dice and you can get the minimum value of one plus one, which is two, yeah? Two. And then you need to think of all other possible combinations. For example, you get to uh, throw one and two or 
1 and 3, 1 and 4, 1 and 5, and so on. So there are possible combinations. And the maximum number that you will get is if you get uh, 6 dots. Yeah, 6 dots. So if you get 6 dots, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So, so here, the, 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 the sum is going to be 12. So that is the maximum number of the sum of two dice. So here we can say that we can get 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, uh, I think that's all for now. Um, thank you very much for watching.